Do you ever wonder, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, forty days etikaf tazbiyat at day eleven, shazadai yaganai shanshai be misal, barverdigar pak kuda vandalayizal, ya ali madad, shukr alhamdulillah, we have completed the tazbih for day tenth. Today's tasbih is Shazadai Yaganai Shanshai Be Misal Barvardigare Pa Khuda Vandala First, let us try to understand the literal meaning of these words. Shazada means the prince, Yagana means the unique, Shansha means the emperor, not the king. Bemisal means there is no example of anyone like him. Barverdigar means the nourisher of all. Pak means pure. Kudawand means Allah. La Yazal means never ending. We as Ismailis are blessed to have the living and present Imam. We believe it is due to the presence of our beloved Imam that this world is functioning. If we were not to have the living Imam for a second, then this world would end immediately. It is common knowledge that he is a prince in this physical world, but people don't know that he is a prince in the spiritual world too. He is the direct descendant of the last and final prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa وسلم, and the carrier of the Nur of Allah. No one other than Imam Ali Muhammad, Allah Ali, Nur Malana Shah Karim Al Husseini Hazre Imam, Salvat Allah Alehe, can claim that status. A Mamin elevates himself in spirituality by climbing the stairs of true knowledge and zikr. Then only he witnesses the magnificence of the Imam, not the carrier of the Nur but being the Noor himself. This Mamin then realizes that his Mala is a king, not only a prince. In Quran Surah 54, Ayat 55, word Malik is used for Allah, which is different from the word Malik. Malik means the master, the king, but Malik is above the king, hence the emperor. Similarly, Badshah is a king, but when one says Shahenshah, it means above the king, thus the emperor. A Mamin elevates himself in spirituality by climbing the stairs of true knowledge and zikr. Then only he witnesses the magnificence of the Imam, not the carrier of the Nur, but being the Nur himself. This Mamin then realizes that his Mala is a king, not only a prince. In Quran Surah 54, Ayat 55, word Malik is used for Allah, which is different from the word Malik. Malik means the master, the king, but Malik is above the king, hence the emperor. Similarly, Badshah is a king, but when, when one says Shahanshah, it means above the king, thus the emperor. A question arises, why is it important to go into such depth of words in Arbi? We are calling upon our beloved Imam, isn't that enough? It is surely enough for anyone who makes that choice. Hazrat Imam Aka Sultan Muhammad Shah Salatullah Alehe has talked about it. He says that there are people who decide that they don't want to move any further so they remain in the same state, being a slave. However, those who want to move up the ladder will say I am not happy here and I want to learn and know more. Then, Imam gives example of Mansur al-Halaj who had paradise available to him but he said, I am not going to stop here, but move further until I got to the essence. Imam calls that state as a state of freedom by becoming the master himself.
Through the true knowledge, one can attain the highest possible spiritual state, which has so many different names. In the above-mentioned example, it's freedom, essence, becoming a master, and it can also be to become one with the Imam, or be Fanafillah. Going back to word king and emperor, a king is assigned by the emperor. An emperor has a power to make anyone a king. How can Mala be called or understood as a king? In actuality, he is the emperor, the most powerful, the king of kings, the emperor, Shahanshah. In Quran, Allah has promised, to those among you who believe and work righteous deeds, that he will, of a surety, grant them in the land, personal world, inheritance of power, as he has granted it to those before them. Surah 24, Ayat 55. Mala has promised us all a royal bungalow in the living paradise to be ours given the conditions are met. Therefore, we call him Shen Shah, the one who can make others king. Parvardhagar means the nourisher. Let it be physical, spiritual, and intellectual nourishment. However, it's important to pray to receive all three types of nourishment. Shukr alhamdulillah that we all are seekers of true knowledge. Therefore, Ya Mala, we praise you and thank you. O Shazadae, Yaganae, Shanshae, Be Misal, Barvardigare, Pa Koda, Wandalayazal. Ya Mala, please accept this insignificant effort in your Huzur Epanur. Ya Mala, grant us your physical, spiritual, and intellectual didar. Ya Mala, forgive our sins and make us pious and pure to the to be united with you. Ya Mala, Ya Shen Shah, let these smiley jamaat to have the true and complete recognition. Ya Mala, please bring us peace and unity in Alam e Insaniyat. Ameen. Ilahi Amin, in need of your prayers, your Ilmi friends. Reference, Dar es Salaam, September 29th, 1899.